evening at Fannies of the Week. My name is Ellen. This week I'm going to be taking a look at this 1942 Epiphone Olympic archtop guitar. I'm primarily reviewing this guitar so that someone will buy it so that I don't. I guess I could put it on layaway. I practically had to put this breakfast burrito on layaway this morning. Ooh, there's more peppers in there than normal. That's good. This is a cute little baby guitar. It sounds great. But if you need something that goes clack, it's got a great clack. This one is well loved. It looks like it was thrown down a flight of stairs, but it sounds great. It's got a very warm, round sort of tone. Like getting a hug from Santa Claus. If you had a rhythm guitar gig, this would be a great guitar for that. And where do I get a rhythm guitar gig? Chris Scruggs, call me. West Lang Lois. We're both pretty weird. It's just like, it's like time travel. That's my favorite thing about guitars. Time travel. What's a song that probably hasn't been played on this guitar? Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. So here's my number. So call me, baby. I don't remember the chords. Isn't that a great song? That's, and, this, and the second record is great, too. Did y'all listen to that? Do you know what I'm talking about? I haven't said yet. Man, you can't can't put that in in post. And because it looks like it's been hit by a truck, we have it priced very attractively. So you should buy it, and you should let me borrow it. If you live in Madison, Madison livers. What what is it called when you live somewhere? Residence, Madison residence. Consider purchasing this and letting me know where you live, so I can visit. Madison livers. What is happening in my brain? What a great ruckus this thing can make! This is spectacular. I give it five out of five odds. Alan, 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 Alan. Here at Fanny's House of Music, we also sell vintage clothing. Although I'm generally not too concerned with it, it is here. This is a sweet pink bed jacket, and I don't know about y'all, but I don't typically wear jackets in bed, so this is going to be a learning experience, I'm sure. Well, I immediately had the impression that I was supposed to leave my shirt out underneath, and maybe I'll go back and do that. Oh my lord. I mean, this is barely, this barely counts as clothing, you know. This adds virtually no mass to my outfit, only frilliness and lace, which I could give to uh, about, you know. Can you imagine sleeping in this? What a drag that would be. I look like I'm in drag. Sometimes these jokes are hilarious in my head, y'all, and then they're just not that funny in person. I don't know. If I have to try them all out, otherwise how will I know? I guess I better take this thing off and finish my burrito. Thank you for watching Ellen's Favorite Thing at Fanny's of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing.